Hi there, Tarek. My name's Andrew. I work here at IELTSpodcast.com with Ben and the others. Thanks for submitting this essay on international marketing. These essays are a great way to test students' topic-specific vocabulary on the subject of globalisation. Not only is this the reason that IELTS exists, but it always appears on the exam. Along with subjects such as technology, law, education and so forth, so what we like to do with these is read through sentence by sentence and give you as much guidance and support as we can towards achieving good academic writing. But if you want to make significant improvements to your writing, it takes repeated corrections over time. Only in this way can you really learn to spot your own mistakes and stop making them in the future. But for now, let's have a go and see if we can offer you any improvements. So my first tip here would be that although there is a word count in this task, we shouldn't try to use as many words as possible. Academic writing is about precision and efficiency, really, about conveying a lot of information with very few words. This is called brevity in English, and it's very important in formal writing. To use too many words is unnecessary and causes the reader some confusion. So here, to say that it's ever-growing and expanding recently is a few too many words. So what we should say is that global marketing is an increasing method Or we could say, more recently, global marketing has become an increasing method of trade. Full stop. Although it is claimed by many to be an unacceptable interference into the targeted country, I do believe that this is an essential method of facilitating education, language learning, and the spread of culture. Would be fine. That would be absolutely fine. It is argued by some that marketing internationally has a devastating effect on certain countries. We would need to be a little more specific than this, or a little more ambiguous. To say certain countries implies that we know which countries it is. We could just say some countries, and then we could be completely ambiguous um, so that we're not hinting that we know which countries exactly are being affected. This can be clearly seen in two points. The first of which is the effect of foreign products on local culture. More specifically, the goods, some goods may contradict certain beliefs, FS. A man believes, this is the correct use of this, is when someone believes something. But here we're talking about people's beliefs. To believe, the, the verb, a belief, the noun. Certain beliefs and traditions. A good example is sex toys, which are now available online to be ordered and delivered to your door. We can imagine how destructive this could be for youngsters unless they are properly controlled. So a point here would be that they are, really. Um, in order to purchase anything online, you need a debit or credit card. I suppose you could use a PayPal account these days. But as well, I'm not sure how sex toys are destructive. Unless, I mean, I've never encountered a dildo that fires bullets. But, I suppose, culturally speaking, if one particular culture is opposed to um, open discussion of sex or promotion of sex, um, then I suppose that, cu that culture would be destroyed by any dildo. It doesn't matter how uh, aggressive it is. So the second point is that unlimited international purchases might, harm local, might significantly harm local industry. 
Local producers cannot compete. So local producers are unable to compete with a similar product that is cheaper. For instance, ready-made electronic circuits imported from China are impossible to compete with Imported to where? If they're imported from China, who is who are we talking about? We need to be really specific with our uh, examples. So we'd say, for instance, a ready-made electronic circuit imported from China to, and then we need a country in which um, circuits are normally cheaper, but China is now dominating this market. Um, to illustrate these properly, they need to be really specific. My next point here, we don't start sentences with um, conjunctions and also this is, we, ca we can't personalise our essays and we can't propose questions in body paragraphs. Body paragraphs are to discuss one idea and that idea is introduced, expanded, supported and justified, uh, sorry, and explained afterwards. So really we only need four sentences. A sentence to introduce, a sentence to expand the specifics of your idea, a sentence to support your idea with a real-world example, and then a sentence to explain it and tie it back to the essay. The question, really. So, despite the consequences of overseas marketing, it remains crucial in maintaining... What? Okay, it remains crucial in maintaining educational processes which cannot survive without the purchasing of books and other resources such as computers and multimedia devices. Furthermore, all nations experience periods of low production due to a lack of resources or poor manufacturing techniques. These shortcomings must be compensated for by international trade in order to satisfy the population's need for goods. As far as the economic consequences are concerned, international agreements and compromises can be established between the concerned countries to protect local producers through policy and regulation. Unwanted or dangerous goods can be banned Ensuring the set there here we go. Unwanted or dangerous good can be goods can be banned, thereby ensuring the safety and integrity of the local community. All in all, we can see that international marketing is a complex issue with numerous pros and cons. C O N S, this is cones. Despite its drawbacks, I suggest that it is an inevitable development of globalization and must be maintained for its invaluable benefits. So you'll notice if you listen through that sometimes what I read was different from what you wrote. That's because what I read I believe to be the better example um, of how to say that sentence. For you, I would suggest um, to improve your academic format, to structure your essays and your argument and your progression in slightly more thoughtful manner. Um, to use more specific examples that are precisely written. But if you would like to continue receiving corrections in this manner, where I simply sit and point out all of your mistakes, you can subscribe to our course, the link to which is on this very page. I do hope to be seeing some more of your work coming through soon, Tarek. Until then, have a lovely day. Bye-bye for now.